Little Raindrop, written by Melanie Joyce, published by Autumn Publishing, a group of Igloo books. When I was a raindrop, I lived up in a cloud. One day thunder rumbled by and boomed out very loud. Come now, little raindrops, get ready to let go. You've got important work to do down in the world below. A flash of zigzag lightning streaked across the sky. Oh, cried all the raindrops. See you later, cloud. Goodbye. They jumped into the air and I jumped with them too. Have fun, said cloud. I wish that I could come along with you. Down and down we fell, giggling, shouting, wee. Oh, what fun to be a raindrop flying free. From high up in the sky, we saw the earth below. Sunbeams shone through us and made a lovely big rainbow. After that, quite suddenly, I landed with a splat and dribbled down the tail of a soggy farmyard cat. I seeped into the soil, trickling down and down, past pink wiggly worms far below the ground. I saw a friendly mole who was digging by some shoots, before I knew it, I'd been sucked into their roots. Shoop! I traveled slowly up the stem. It was quite a climb. Hello, smiled the flower bud. You are here just in time. The way the flower told me, and then it opened wide. What a nice surprise to see my raindrop friends inside. We had so much fun sharing stories of our day as the warm sun slowly set and the light faded away. We tried to count the stars instead of counting sheep, but the petals were so comfy that we all fell fast asleep. When the morning came, the sun shone hot and bright. We all felt quite peculiar, sort of shaky and light. Slowly we drifted upward. There was no way to resist, for I and all my raindrop friends had turned into a mist. What's happening, I asked, floating higher with the crowd. The others laughed and said, we're going back into our cloud. Welcome back, said Cloud. I hope you all had fun. It's time for you to rest now that there's lots of sun. But soon the wind will blow again and turn the weather vain, and you'll have more adventures next time it starts to rain. The End <laughs>